Hey everyone, welcome to my um, very last Friday to haul for the week. Uh, today is Saturday, it's pretty late at night, um, so I'm sorry that I didn't put this video up earlier. Um, I just wanted to get in on the Lysol deal as well as grab some finish because I haven't seen uh, the finish go on a decent deal for a very long time. I typically um, get BOGO when... Uh, when you have like a dollar or two fifty, I want to say there are the manufacturer coupons, as well as uh, the one dollar video valley coupons, and you get them for like pretty cheap under a dollar or almost free. And that hasn't happened in a very long time, so why not just pick up two boxes? Even though I don't like the gel pot boxes so much, um, I went ahead and I grabbed it anyways, um, just to add to my stockpile because. I am down to a few boxes and I don't know when um, we're going to get that deal again and I just had a lot of ups and I personally don't have like I don't like to have more than like 40 ups at a time um, just because I feel that like I lose track and when I get too many um, I get overwhelmed by the amount of ups that I have and I let them expire and I just let them go to waste so why not get things that I know that I'm going to use like dishwasher uh, tablets um, you know and Lysol like the Lysol for me was not free at all by any means because I don't have those cold and flu booklets at all um, but we did have the 50 cent manufacturer coupons as well as the one off two Video Valley coupons um, so let's get started um, first off I wanted to talk about the Nexus deal um, and the importance that it is um, that it that it is to establish great relationships with the cashiers management and that the and just the staff in general at the Rite Aids that you work with. Um, the reason why I say this is because the nicer you are with them, the more patient that you are, and just just be nice to them. Just common courtesy goes a long way. Um, I had not been able to get any of the. The money making like five dollar and something cent um, trial sizes for the Nexus. However, I did talk to the manager. I wanted to see if she can order me some, and I explained to her the deal. And she she goes, okay, I understand that I wouldn't be able to give you money, but we can go ahead and see what we can do for you. Um, so I asked her if I can get something comp comparable um, to what that product was, and I picked the next cheapest thing from Nexus which was like 10 something and 11 something and um, she ended up selling me those big bottles I have some in my shower already I grabbed a total of five um, and she ended up marking those down to like five dollars to what the other products were and just selling those to me for what I would have paid for the other ones and I did make it did end up being a money maker for me and um, just that they were willing to mark off like five dollars on top of the great deal that it that I already was um, definitely uh, showed me like you know not only do they appreciate me shopping there so much uh, they're willing to keep me happy. I do fill out a lot of the surveys, and they do know that I do fill out a lot of the surveys. I try to do the max four times a month surveys, and I always give them positive feedback. I rate them the highest that I can. I think there was only one time where I did not, but that was a valid reason. The cashier was really, really rude. Other than that, I always give that store really positive feedbacks, and I will continue to shop there and only there because that's just the writer that I really like. And, um, you know, they, I'm sure, obviously they appreciate it. They gave me, um, an amazing deal in the Nexus. You know, it's something that I don't, I don't think I'm going to ask her to do again. Um, just because I feel that it would be taken advantage of the situation. I think doing it more than once is just fine with me, especially when I got those. And I love Nexus. It's such a great product. It's just so damn it's expensive. Um, anyways, that's it. So, for the stuff for this week, um, the Revlon, you can actually do this deal uh, tomorrow, or for like the next week, it's for the eye extravaganza. 
um, everyone's doing, well not everyone, I saw on Coupon Like a Man, if you bought, I think it was like 14 or something of the little Revlon quads, it would be like this amazing money maker, but I personally do not like those. I don't want to just buy a product that I know that I'm not going to like, that I'm not going to use. And um, so what I ended up doing is I wanted to try some things from Revlon. Um, I've heard great things about these. I heard the b blendability is pretty good um, on these products. And I worked up a scenario. Um, I actually really, really, really like just love this mascara. I got it in my, um, I want to say it was one of my beauty subscription boxes for free and I wanted to pick up another one that's how amazing I thought it was like I just wanted another one obviously I don't need any more mascara I still have like I still have like all this crap sitting in my table that I have to put away um I have so many mascaras so I didn't want to just do them all mascaras so I decided to do eyeshadows if I need any more of that um these eyeshadows I um I've heard good things about these. Um, I, I've heard good things about them. I opened one up. Um, I opened one up and I swatched them. I mean, they're not the greatest uh, pigmentation um, of the product. I just, but um, they feel a little chalky to me. Um, they're, they're a little soft. I feel that with, you are able to blend those, um, pretty well, but, you know, when you're used to product like Makeup Geek and, um, Urban Decay and the pigmentation that those provide and you use stuff like this, like, it kind of just, I don't know, it's some taking, it's, it's getting used to it, but the, the, I'm not saying that the product is bad, I'm just saying that it's just a little chalky for my taste. However, I do feel that with a uh, primer and a good brush, um, you'll be able to work this out. Um, I really like these. Like, I'm excited to try these out and, you know, hopefully it'll surprise me. Um, so the way that this deal worked out, the way that I did it to best suit me and what I wanted is I grabbed four of this Revlon Color Stay as well as the Revlon Mascara over there. Uh, the mis I, they're buy one get one half off and these count for the eye extravaganza. Um, the first one that you purchased, this is $7.99 and then this will be $3.99. $7.99, $3.99 and then your fifth one will just go on silver gold discount. I did it on a gold card, on a silver card, but a gold card would work better. Um, the mascara is $7.19. So you pay $31.15 out of pocket, which gets you over the $30 that you need for your um, eye extravaganza to get back $10. You're going to put in, you're going to get five video values um, for each one. So, uh, that's three of them for each one. Three dollars for each one. So that is fifteen dollars right off, you know, just with their video values. So that brings down your out of pocket. Um, and then you're going, I, the way that I had my coupons, I only had two of the two dollar, uh, manufacturer coupons from coupons.com. And then I had some pillies that were a dollar and I used three of those. And the way that it worked out for me is I paid $9.15 out of pocket and I bought got back $10. So not only were these free, these were a very, they're a money maker for me. But it, again, it is product that I'm going to use. And I don't, I did not like the little Revlon things. I thought they were just horrible. Um, it was an 85 cent money maker because I got back my $10 after paying $9.15 out of pocket. Now, if you have more of those $2 uh, Q from two dollars from coupons.com and you can use five of them you'll be end up you'll end up making like 385 uh money maker so that's good you know for um for the for our couponers that like that that depend highly on money makers as we all do um personally i just wanted to grab what i was going to use and what i what i knew i liked um 
so that was a great deal. I this is still they still have the seventy five percent off. There's a two dollar uh, coupons dot com coupon, and I ended up paying seventy four cents with this, seventy four cents for this. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try it out see if I like it. Um, another deal that I did is the Snickers. I think there's a one dollar video value. They're forty seven cents on sale here. So I'm gonna go go ahead and get um, that dollar back because uh, I didn't print out the coupon. The Lysol for me, um, I didn't have the the cold and flu booklet, so it was a little bit more expensive for me. Those were two for five, and um, you buy twenty, you get back seven. So I had the two two one off of two video value coupon. I used four of those, and then I had fifty cent coupons on the toilet cleaner and the Lysol wipes. So with all those, I paid fourteen fifty out of pocket. I got back seven, and basically it was seven fifty for eight or ninety three cents a piece, which is a great deal for Lysol. Um, it's more than half off for these, so that was a really good deal. And it's you know it's using my ups and not my cash, which is even better. I just like stocking up on the Lysol, and whenever I can get it for real cheap, I grab it. Uh, the tablets. I'm not sure if I spoke about this already. I think I did. But, um, those are buy one, get one free. Uh, the, it was six forty nine for the one, and I used two $1 July Video Valley coupons off of each one. And then I found one pilly on one of them, which was $0.50. Cents. So I paid three ninety nine or one eighty nine dollars each, which is a pretty good deal considering it's a 6 $7 product. And then on the other one, I found a Try Me Free sticker. So I'll be, be I'll be sending that in, so technically it's going to be free. And hopefully I'll receive that on a rebate check. <coughs> Sorry, guys, my allergies. It's just killing me and it's, it's affecting my asthma. Oh, my gosh. Um, so for this, I also had a $7 Catalina. Um, <coughs> excuse me. $7 Catalina off of $70. Um, what you don't see here is a case of water. It's in my car and you're missing two Snickers there. <laughs> um... It was thirty two forty four, and then with my Catalan Catalina, it was twenty five forty four, for everything that you see here, but the Nexus product that was on a different transaction. Um, I spent twenty five dollars in ups, and I got back seventeen. Um, I did go down eight dollars, but then you have to keep in mind that some of these things didn't have uh, upper boards like the, the the water that was two dollars and something cents the finish, which was let's see. The finish was three ninety nine right there. The Snickers didn't have an up as well as the cover goal. So that pretty much covered those items, but um my out of pocket let's show you guys. My out of pocket was forty four cents and I saved thirty seven eighty five and my silver savings and sixty four dollars and um coupon savings and i'm at 812 i'm so close to gold so close anyways guys thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful night Bye bye